It's a new acquisition by Dell. It's drag and drop management. In fact, this entire episode is about cloud management. Coming up next on Cloud Chronicle. Hey, welcome to this episode of Cloud Chronicle. I'm Andy McCaskey from SDR News, and I'm joined by Ophir Nakmani, who is uh, going to be talking about a number of cloud-related topics. I guess the biggest one has got to be this acquisition by Dell. Okay, so uh, yes, exactly. This is you know big news from uh, the industry to this week. Dell by uh, Instratius, um, one of the leading cloud management vendors in the world today. Together with Riot Hill, they actually um, led the market over the last uh, uh, few years. Um, actually, it's not a surprise what's going on today in the market that companies like CA that bought Layer 7 and other companies that uh, are building their cloud uh, solutions, infrastructure as a service, and they are they are trying to find, they are looking to find this you know, innovation and startups of you know, companies building up on platforms like Amazon, and they acquire them in order to enhance their skills, enhance their propriety. This is a great uh, stuff coming from Instratius. Just you know, to, to explain to our listeners what it means in Stratius, they give you the capability to deploy a high available solution in a click, kind of in a click, right? You are saying, I want an SLA of that and that, 99.99999 for this cluster. And in a click, they actually create all the things behind the scenes to make it happen, like, you know, a, a copying it between availability zones, copying it between regions. So this is the cloud management thing that Instratius uh, uh, brought to the world. Um, Instratius was led by uh, great uh, innovators um, together with James Urquhart and um, uh, Berlin Golden. They both an influencers know, know from are very known from the Cloudrati uh, 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 Cloudrati talk leaders. And if you'll go to Twitter and you'll search for Cloudrati, you will see what I'm talking about. And Sounds like there are a lot of cloud management tools that have been focused on private clouds. And really, it looks like the trend is now towards being able to use uh, management tools for public clouds. Is this right? Yeah, so um, there, there, is, there is an evolution for the last few years. You know, Amazon started in 2006, and together with Amazon, uh, um, there was brought to life right scale that helped Amazon to uh, a to give the users an option to provision and deploy and manage their resources. Right scale today is very mature, and Instratus joined that effort as another player, a very big, a very big player in this in this uh, uh, domain. And today, you know, with the acquisition from Dell side. Instratius will become integrated into the Dell offering together with their OpenStack cloud. Very interesting stuff is going on today and expect that to be um, evolved. You know, the, 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 the notion of, you know, buying these cloud management and cloud analytics tools will evolve over the next few years and companies, big companies will continue on and acquire uh, these, you know, uh, innovators and startups. Well, I think you've got a good example of that. Uh, that that's also occurred. Uh, this uh, looked like it was a pretty good bet. It turned out to be a pretty good bet for Sequoia. Yeah, actually, uh, very interesting stuff coming from a good friend of mine, Mr. Dan Opry. Um, he's the CEO of a company called Madeira Cloud, um, and Sequoia just announced that. Um, they're investing in the company, the you know the Series A. They're investing 1.5 million dollars. This is you know considerably not a big investment, but it's a very interesting investment on a company that built the Visio for your cloud. You 
you know, by dragging and dropping components on, on a canvas graphically, you know, very visually visual experience, you are building the architecture that you have traditionally in your in-house on Amazon. And in a click, you deploy all this, you know, what you plan. So it's all very appealing, all, you know, it's a, it's, it's a visual interface. You, you, you're using it very simple. So the adoption of, for example, Amazon Cloud, you know, with all their acronyms, names, you know, new things that they're bringing to the world, like EBS and ELB, all of this stuff, and the traditional guys that knows that ELB doesn't know that ELB is a load balancer, will find the word load balancer now on the left pane of this tool and will be able to drag and drop and are able to drop and drop this load balancer on the canvas and you know create their environment like they are used to. So it's very very interesting. Also it's it's very interesting and actually very impressive to hear to hear that they have that their cloud already have thousands of Amazon users that tried at least their platform. It's still free. It's in better mode. They want to take this investment and expand uh, within the market, you know, US market specifically, um, and expanding, you know, their uh, office in San Francisco. So, you know, very interesting things happening there. And the need is, you know, from the cloud management side is to the point because right scale and companies like Instradius coming with a lot of custom work that needs to be done, you know, accompanying with, with, with this uh, notion of we have a tool. Uh, Madeira Cloud comes with the option to actually do it yourself in a very uh, visual manner, and hopefully it will evolve to the point where you, you actually do not need, you know, the system integrator that will lead your adoption to the cloud and will be and that is very expensive of course well i think the other thing that's uh, particularly interesting about moving towards more graphical tools is you have more cloud more public cloud vendors each of which has its own uh product definition command uh, structure and and so forth graphical tools almost are necessary to be able to function in a multi-cloud or a multi Cloud vendor environment, aren't they? So, so basically, you know, the, the, you're getting into a very complex situation. You know, I don't know if visual graphics, you know, like Madeira Cloud can do that. I hope because it will be very appealing and very nice experience. But you know, there is there was a report of Rightscale uh, that was published uh, this week, and the report is talks about, talks about um, the. Uh, the mature, in, you know, the maturity and perception of cloud users uh, of the need to, to deploy on multi-cloud, to deploy the environment in a multi-cloud uh, uh, manner. So it looks like the primary motivation for moving to a multi-vendor environment is just to simply to spread risk. Is is that true? Yeah, this is this is uh, uh, very true. Um, Let's start from the beginning. According to a uh, you know, right scale report, a uh, 2013 report, cloud state report, they say that you know, uh, users are more comfortable today with their cloud environment and they may be more proficient on their specific cloud environment. Cloud management solutions like right scale and Instradius are actually bringing the options to move between, to move between environments. And, the key considerations, you know, of switching between clouds comes from the notion of I want to uh, hold, you know, my consistent, consistent capacity in-house with my own physical resources, and when there are bursts, I want to use the public cloud. So there is an option of a hybrid cloud. More than that, maybe I want to reduce cost. So if on a specific point of time I'm using a resource on one cloud that costs less on the other cloud, then there is a motivation to move in this specific of, specific time to move to this cloud vendor B. More than that, you know, enhancing security or improving availability, you want to be to have your application copied into cloud vendors. Basically, there is three layers. You know, 
one, I want to have replication within, um, I want to have a replication between availability zones of the same cloud vendor. Then I want a replication between, you know, a, a two a, a regions or two separate data centers within a specific cloud vendor. And the highest, you know, availability option is to deploy between clouds. So, you know, you're not, there is no a, a dependency on one vendor that, you know, have its own algorithms, algorithms and it, its own infrastructure. And you can use multiple vendors in order to make your application a, a better available. And of course, there is the, the consideration of locking, you know, when you are using an IT vendor, um, also in traditional world, there, are, there was, you know, this notion of I'm locked, I'm locked on this vendor for how long, how much money will, will, this vendor will ask for me next time, and what are the switching costs. So this uh, option of moving, you know, if you have the automation in place, if you have the skills to generate this option, for yourself, the, the move from cloud to cloud actually decreased the level of vendor locking that you had in the traditional world and that you can suffer from in the cloud. So it sounds like there are a lot of factors in play in this multi-cloud environment, but I think we're working towards, uh, towards a good result. We're going to be working towards uh, some other uh, good results here in the uh, coming week. I understand that uh, Patrick is uh, at a conference is going to be bringing back some of his uh, observations for us. Yeah, so Patrick right now is in the cloud 2020 in uh, Las Vegas. Um, and I think, you know, from what I've seen, um, the summit will be around storage and networking and the cloud operating system. And I think that the most interesting stuff um, and uh, you know, I, I, I will leave it to Patrick to elaborate more about that. Is controlling the heterogeneous feature, a uh, future, you know, to control um, the plane that pulls, you know, all the stuff together, the networking and, 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 and the operating system, and the storage, and the multi-cloud notion. All of that, you know, it's a very complex environment, and it will be interesting to to listen, to, to to hear the insights that you will bring, you know, while we're back. Yeah, well, I also wanted to try and get uh, some comments on this uh, notion that uh, Facebook talks about uh, uh, open source uh, hardware and uh, what the impact is going to be on the physical layer. Lots of things to talk about. Uh, one final note, I guess you have your seminar coming up this week. Yeah, so we have, you know, our webinar um, on Thursday. Um, 12 o'clock Eastern time, you're welcome to go into newvim.com slash webinar, slash webinars and, you know, to register to it, managing workload, cloud workloads, this is the team, and Joe Wainman, you know, the famous Joe Wainman uh, from Cloudonomics will be, um, on, on, you know, lecturing and, and I, I, I promise a great, great event. Okay, well, that's good. Thanks uh, to you, Ophir, for uh, emceeing here today. Uh, interesting, as always, keeping up with the latest news from cloud. I'm Andy McCaskey from SDR News. Hope to see you next week on Cloud Chronicle.